anabolic chicken fried rice to look these naturally for my Asian brothers. For my Asians, this is the most anabolic, quick, easy dinner you can make, your grandma can make. It's gonna get you jacked. Let's cook. Just finished a leg workout. Damn. All right, so this is everything you need. You need some chicken, leftover chicken from Costco, rice, and I already cooked the veggies, but I have goji jang cauliflower in here that I cooked earlier. Have a strip loin steak. So those are the only ingredients you need. So what you're gonna do, grab your pan. No seed oils in this house. We're going to use olive oil and some butter. Okay, so now that the camera is all set up, 8.15, later dinner tonight, but we still gotta get the nutrients in, so 8.15, let's see how long it takes to cook this anabolic chicken fried rice with some steak. I lied, so we're actually not going to use olive oil. Get your pan and just get a slab of butter. Hands are clean. So we're gonna butter up the pan, cook the steak. Premise of this, we're gonna cook the steak then we're going to fry the rice. And I forgot, you're also gonna use two eggs. Butter the pan, butter the butter, and butter the pan. All right, so this meal my grandma can make, easy. So cook that steak on that butter. We're gonna go for medium rare, lower heat, not super high heat. You're not gonna get the sear with the pan fry. About two and a half minutes per side. Gonna put a shirt on, keep the video PG, but we're just cooking the steak first. That's the longest thing it's gonna take. Look at that, look at that, oh my days. While the steak's cooking, I peeled off all the chicken. I seasoned the steak with garlic powder and I had some, let me grab it down here. Had some lorry seasoning or high seasoning salt. So one more flip, two minutes aside. I'm about to hit the ringer little burnt that's the problem with pan frying but it is what it is that butter is going to make nice for the fried rice for the fried rice we're actually just going to use some Asian chicken broth mix MSG garlic powder and some chili oil all right so the steak is done that's eight minutes Low, medium heat, I'm just gonna sear the fat. But yeah, you wanna sear the steak. Like, did you see that? I'm gonna let it rust on your traditional good china, good china plate. So now we're gonna take the, I'm gonna take this and we're gonna start frying up our chicken first. Chicken and eggs, just because that will take the longest time. I'm gonna start letting this fry just a little. And you're gonna slowly add your seasoning, so some garlic, powder, boom. And then we're going to add our rice. So. Boom, the bang. Drop the rice, then that's where the MSG will actually go to give the rice some flavoring. You're gonna get some black from the steak, so you wanna make sure you're really cooking it through. I'm not gonna mix with the steak as it's just burnt on the pan. Get your ground of this recipe. Show your mom this recipe for my Asian brothers. Might not have a steak, you might use barbecue pork, might use some duck, not chicken. You get the premise. So yeah, it's a little bit burnt. That's my fault at the bottom. The actual food isn't burnt. While this is cooking, you can smell the garlic, the fresh garlic. We're going to finish off with my secret sauce, the chili oil. Put it in there. If you don't want oils, switch it up with the sriracha to make it spicy. Yeah, just start frying that around. All that butter. This is for the anabolics. So 
so we're gonna finish cooking this and then I'll show you the finished product. Again, this is for an anabolic dinner. Um, and for those of you guys who know, I fast every day. I'm pretty lean, so this keeps you decently lean and it's flavorful. Sheesh, we're letting that steak rest. That's a nice medium rare. So we hit it nicely with the medium rare. Good sear for a pan fry. 500 grams of strip loin, that's some anabolics right there. That's some good protein right there. Let's taste the steak. And really when you let that rest, all the juices come out. So steak taste test number one. You don't want to over season your steak because you got a lot of seasoning in the fried rice. And we got the fried rice. Don't really need to let it rest, but. I don't want to mix the two. I usually do, but for this video, no. Taste the fried rice with the chicken. Damn, chicken fried rice. So I'm gonna eat this dinner. I usually only eat two meals a day. Comment below how many calories you think this is. I'm intuitively, ugh, I'm just eating intuitively now, not going as hard on the shred. So stuff like this, just keeping it lean, keeping it healthy. The chili oil might not be as healthy, but high sodium, it is what it is. Oh, and the last thing I gotta do is show you guys the goju jang cauliflower. You gotta get your vegetables. And I'm not talking about just greens. So a lot of garlic and just some cauliflower and goju jang. Delicious, so. Show your mom, show your grandma, show your dad. This is how an Asian guy eats anabolically while staying lean and not breaking the bank. So we got chicken and egg fried rice. We got goju jang cauliflower for your veggies. We got a strip loin steak. And for those of you guys who really need greens, just go get some subs. No, I'm kidding. Asians like eating string beans, so you can get string beans. So subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thought I'd just make it really quickly. Thought about it. I was like, I should just make this because this is actually how I eat. And we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. I'm Dylan, mechanical engineer, entrepreneur, and sales guy. Everything but a doctor and a lawyer. And a software engineer. And I make fitness motivational videos. See you then.